second, wasn't it? Carpang of the year. Have I told you yet? Yeah, I think you've mentioned it a few times, mate. Yeah, yeah I can't believe it. Beaten by 1% by Dave Levy, my nemesis. There must be something I'm better than Dave at, if he's better than me at carp fishing, just for this year though. There must be something I'm better than it now. Better looking? He is quite a good looking guy, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. And and I'm saying that, and he's bold. I, you can always tell if someone's good looking, if they can pull off the bold look, and I think Dave definitely can, so. Nah, he's probably better looking than me. Beat him up in a fight? I used to be a para, didn't he? Yeah, that'd be tough going, I, I think, think he'd mate. Out of me, so not with that. Stronger? I've been going to the gym a bit recently, but he's a He's a big lump, isn't he? He is, mate. I know. I bet I've got a bigger c Welcome to another episode of Life at Nash. Now I feel incredibly honoured to have been invited on and host one of the episodes. What I'm not so happy about is that, like Tom with his episode, it's winter, so the fishing's definitely gonna be up against us. However, I've got a fantastic lake in front of me in Moor Lakes. We've got a couple of days in front of us. Nice mild spell, so I think we've got a good chance of catching. We've just been shown around the lake by the owner, Russell, and he's pointing out a lot of nice, lightly looking areas, and I really feel confident for a bite or two, so, I don't want to waste much more time. I'm going to knock up a bait mix, get some rods into position, bait a few of the spots, and let's see if we can catch a January carp very, very quickly to show you guys with the camera. Rods are in position and I'm feeling very confident. We've just had a big liner, so I think we're gonna get a bite any second. But instead of sitting here and waiting with me whilst we get a bite, why don't you go check out how Mikey, who's behind the camera right now, and his young friend Finn got on when they went over to Belgium recently. Spoiler alert, Finley is a bit of an idiot. <laughs> Tight. Yeah. See yep. what happens. Final night. End on a big inning then. Come on. Little day session in France tomorrow. Yeah, try and nick a couple. Two rods down there. Two rods there. One rod there. Another rod there. And base camp for the night. Fingers crossed. Literally all the carp that we've seen have been in this area and you'd like to think with the amount of rigs and bait we've got out there something will fade. Now I've got a prediction, that rod or that rod will get a bite. If my left hander goes that's going to be a big koi, if that right hander goes it's going to be a big one, if one of them goes big orange koi. Until you realised it was about a foot deep. <laughs> oh yeah. 30 what? Yeah, I'll prefer 30. will do. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah, we'll take that one. All good fun, innit? When they look like that, 
can't really come play. It's got the Belgian base. Yeah, boy. Huge tail on it. Come on. It's doing well on this. Clive, Clive Yard. Is that what you say? Clive Yard Hotel. <laughs> where are we? We are at the Clive Yard Hotel, the perfect place where you want to spend a Sunday evening. Not. Because some idiot dropped his van keys on the canal and now he can't drive home because his passport, his camera gear, his laptop, his fishing gear, it's all locked in the van. Stay here tonight and then. Definitely, Maggie is going home tomorrow, and I will be going home tomorrow. I'll break into the van if I need to and get that passport, so <laughs> stick around. <laughs> what are we in the week? yeah, so we have already got checked in. Welcome to the Nash Crib. Whenever I wake up in the morning, I want to feel motivated for the day, especially when you can lose your uh, van keys. And that's why there's this beautiful um, saying on the wall. It's a saying I always say to myself every morning. Don't have a f***ing clue what it is. <laughs> there you go. Something in print. I'm going to get a shower and then put these clothes back on, which I've been wearing for about six <laughs> days solid, and then get some sleep. So we will catch you in a bit. We are currently waiting for the locksmith. Yeah, a locksmith that speaks no English, so we're using Google Translate. À quelle distance êtes-vous de chez vous? Pouvez-vous rencontrer est ici? <laughs> and basically, we're trying to get this random French guy to meet us outside his house in a white van, um, and then we're going to get him to follow us 30 minutes from his house address to a canal. We're gonna try and get him to follow us, unlock the van. Then at least if we get the van unlocked, I can get my passport, I can get my wallet, I can get my camera stuff. It's quite funny having to use Google Translate. It's just there like, we, oui? 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 Yeah, it's a good job um, he knows a little English. Yeah, it's good that he knows how to say yes and no because we sort of, he can answer our questions. So we're gonna sit tight for five minutes. He's gonna turn up and we just gotta hope that he will pick up courage to follow a dodgy white van into the middle of nowhere in France <laughs> and unlock a van by two English people. Oh, <laughs> it does, it does right. sound a bit dodgy when you think about it, to be fair, but... He's game. Yeah. have the keys now for a rapid PCR test and then back on the ferry seven hours later Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> you remember your key? present how long you been here about seven hours I nearly got arrested um, I've been in McDonald's four times, they know me by first name terms. <laughs> uh, made a little investment and bought some French earphones that cost me 30 euros for a pair of Apple earphones. Oh. Um, but we're here, we've got the key. So let's it. go to McDonald's for the sixth time. Eat some food. And then we're back to England. <laughs> <laughs> Nice job, Finn. To be fair, I've done the exact same thing, only instead of Belgium, it was the Netherlands, and instead of having a Mikey Barnes, it was my dad. So, I know exactly how you feel, and I'm glad you're both back, safe and sound now. Nice work, Mikey, you're a true friend. Right, we've not caught one, and I definitely think we should have done. The fish are moving up and down this margin, they're moving around, they're active, they should be up for a feed, so the only solution is to bring out more rods. So I've got a rod here, I've got another rod in the swim, so I'm going to put them either side of the main swim. Fingers crossed we do get one before sundown. I really think we should because of how active they are. So if we don't catch one, I'm really going to have to start coming up with a couple of excuses because we definitely found one in the net by now. Right, we'll put this one red so that when we see red on the receiver we know to run down here. Whilst we wait for a bite on this rod or one of the two rods down there, check out how our Royston consultant social went, caught a lot of fish, drank a lot of beer and I'm still trying to figure out who let my car tire down.
welcome to Nash Lakes Royston, one of my favourite places to fish in the UK, but fishing isn't the sole purpose for our visit here. We're actually here because this weekend we're having a promotional team at Social, so all our consultants field testers are going to get together, a bit of fishing, barbecue, all that good stuff. It's been a while since we've done one of these because COVID and everything like that, so it's going to be great to get everyone together. We actually arrive tomorrow, but me and Mikey volunteered to leave work early to get everything sorted, make sure everything looks perfect around here when everyone arrives. Out of the way. Trip hazard. Don't want any of us star anglers tripping over. Should we just get the rods out? Come on. We'll do it all in the morning. We've all got our carp rods out, and I thought I'd flick a little pike rod out as it's the first day of the pike season today. And within about five minutes, it went with this nice little low mid double. Something like that. Yeah, well happy with that. Hopefully, we get a few carp as well. And hopefully, this is a sign of things to come. This, this one, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Got to make sure you're looking pretty for yeah. the cameras. <laughs> Did you oh. do that Is yours bigger than this one, though? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> hey. 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 Mikey. I mean, it doesn't count really, does it? Because he didn't do the draw, he just jumped into the flyer. <laughs> now I get to stay here. And now I get to stay here. It's going to start raining and the uh, yeah, cameras no. can't get wet. I'd have to stay here, lads. I'd have to stay here. You'll be alright. Salary. Go on. Already on his record, this. Ooh. It's under 26 and a half. So, productive night for everyone. Henry's had a couple of pike. Mikey's had a lovely mirror. And here we go. Fine Royston Common, worth coming down a day early. Now let's get things set up for the social. <laughs> Larry, mate. <laughs> yeah. We are going to Tesco to spend loads of Kev's money on beer. Cheers, Nashi. I've got Finn, my helper, over there. Convoy. Two van job this. Many bevs. Many, many bevs. I think 90% of the funds of this are gonna be spent on beer, to be fair. We're going for a good cause. Yeah, money well spent. We ain't it. Fuck Only one bag of ice for today. Alcohol, snacks, plates, cutlery, soft drinks, uh, ping pong balls. We don't need to go on anything. I think we're gonna need to move a trolley. We are gonna need a lot of these. Really? <laughs> There's a lot of people coming in there. Right, that should be enough beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And cider for the more feminine gentlemen. <laughs> What's that for in your ID? Nearly <laughs> 21, I still have seven days. Oh, it was a big job, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Kev. Right, back to Oyston. Have a few beers. Neither. You reckon the other one's bigger? I don't know, to be honest. Quite long. Mr. Consistent. See it? Called it, didn't I? Yeah. I had them two last night. <laughs> oh, now it's mine. The big oh, yeah. coach, Steve. Dream worthy. I was dreaming about that capture all night. Mission complete. Mission complete. Sorted. Not even going to fish tonight. What can possibly top that? How do you do it? Half, half cut, casting into the snag. Good angling, Jacob. Half cut, what? <laughs> Trunk. <Yeah. laughs> Good angling. Come on the Nash Social. Come down here with Polish and Henry last night onto Kingfisher, I believe it's called. Quite away from the gazebos. Flicked a couple of rods out on the far bank. And apparently, this is the big ghosty. 32 pound an ounces. What's its name? Darnell, Casper, I've heard all the names. What I do know is that is a big old ghostly. We're reeling now. Enjoy the social with the lads. Have a bacon butty. What do you reckon, Henry? 
Oh, I reckon you've done well there, Jacob. <laughs> Come on. I'll take that. Oh, darn hell. What a carp. Funny, mate. <laughs> Like all night, all night, all over the lake. 24 and a half. 50, 50, 50, 50 meters. Hiya. Yeah. How are you doing? Let's see ya. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, it's done quite a few fish, to be yeah. fair. Yeah, in, uh, in the middle here. Yeah, so it seems to be. Wow. They were boxing last night, weren't they? Oh, it's been a crazy half hour. Um, I was on the phone to my dad, he's over at Bluebell, which isn't really that far away, and he said the lads next to him were catching on zigs. So I said to my dad, why don't you put a zig out? And he ignored my advice. So I thought, I'll put a zig out there in the favour of Big Phil. And yeah, I, was, I literally put it on the rest, it ripped off, but there was nothing on the end. And then I put it out again, it ripped off. Felt like a catfish, but I do think it was a carp, but it came off. And yeah, I've just had a double take, unfortunately, by the time Mikey's came out, the other ones fell off on the bike. But this one, I should get it out of the snags, and I think it's about ready for now. Get him in it. Get him in it. Bosh. Yeah. Bigger than the first one. This one just over 27 pounds. And it was actually after making a little change to zigs. I've had four bites, unfortunately. This is the first one that I've been able to land. But them four bites have been in about half an hour, an hour since putting the first rod out. So if it carries on this way, I think we're going to be in for an action-packed afternoon. I was kind of looking forward to going over to the social, seeing a few of the lads, but we're going to stick it out and try and get a 30 pounder. What are you going for, Mike? Big old pork pot burger. What was the chips? Seasoned loaded chips or something. What was? I heard you were hauling. Yeah, the, losing them. On the old links. Yeah. Four I'm bites in an hour, lost three of them. Absolute screamer. I'm out of breath. <laughs> just fishing open water, so I was able to have rods out whilst I was chilling with the boys just over there. Can't grumble at that. Hopefully it's another nice one. How I said to you, no, I'm going to get a rip on you at whatever, and he went, Boy. There we go, that'll do. Bite number two, just moved on to the lake. I was enjoying a couple of her barbecue ribs. Henry told me I've got no chance of a bite. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whee! Hopefully a few more. Go and get some more food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well enjoyed. Well done, mate. Good night, good night. <laughs> certainly worth coming over here and putting out the rods. Literally put one rod out, was casting out the second one, it went off in my hand. And yeah, I was able to land this little fully, which to be honest, I'm gonna say it's never been caught before. And then that one there, yeah, good teamwork, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. But yeah, I'm gonna say this fully has never been caught before. So because of that, I'm gonna give it a name and it's now called Finn's Fully. So if you come to Royston, Finn's Fully is on the target list. Best fish in the lake. Best fish in the lake. Emmy said he was going home tonight. He ain't going home now. <laughs> Not <still>. anymore. Please don't leave. Even if you want to, you're you not going to leave. Who's done that? No comment, Randy. He's going to stay in the party now. We've got him. No, I'm not staying. I'm going to have to ring Bill and ask him to bring a pump down. Who's done that? Bill's not going to want that on a Saturday night. Who was you, wasn't it? Like I have seen you chatting to Tom. What would you do? Can I do that to you? What? I'm going to call Bill. I wouldn't do that. That's how I do that. Who's done it? Who's done it then? I ain't got a clue.
I never did make it home that night from Royston, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world because it just meant I stuck around and drank a few more beers with the boys. Although I did find out who let my tyres down. Tom, I know it was you. It's now morning at Moor Lakes. We did catch quite a few in the night. Very strange for winter that they seem to just love a night bite, but I caught three and Mikey caught one as well himself. So we've kept the carp. We'll show you them now. I did slip one back because it was so small, but we've got a few carp to show you. Oh, is that a 20? I don't know. It's a carp. In January, we'll take him. Finally, a fish to show you. Not the biggest carp in the world, but in January, we'll take him. It wasn't just this one. I had another one in the night, nice scaly one, and Mikey had one as well. He got the rods out after we finished filming for the day. Not bad at all, like I said, for the middle of winter. Moor Lakes is an exclusive booking venue that is ran by Martin Bowler and Russell Wilmont. If you want to book on for you and up to four mates, I believe, and get in contact with Martin through his Instagram or through moorlakes at gmail.com. Fantastic stock in here. They're growing, getting bigger, and it is a beautiful surrounding. So if you're looking for that exclusive venue hire for a nice search with all your mates, check it out. I'm gonna slip him back, get the rods into position again. Fingers crossed, we catch a few more. There you go, mate. Right, I'm gonna get the last rod into position again. Whilst I do that, and we wait for hopefully a daytime bite, every summer we do a load of junior angling days with a local angling club. Mikey came down and filmed one. So have a look and see how myself, Tom, Dan, Dean was there as well, I think, how we all got on getting some kids into fishing. Good angling. Oh, it is a nice one. He might have grown quickly. Yeah, he might, might have been eating loads of bait. Holding him up for the camera. Catch him off the surface. First one off the top. Second one of the day. Oh, nuts. No. Right, Tom's your hero then. Yay. A little bit of reeling. Stop. A little bit of pulling. Oh, look at that. I think another one stop. Like a yeah, Tom. First one, she was like, help me, Tom, help me. <laughs> now, now she's a pro. Now she knows what she's doing. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. You got him! Yeah! I think we need, who helped you catch it? Tom. You're being selfish again. That's it. Well done. How are we getting on there? So I caught 12 fish. 12 fish. 12. And, and 9, so that the competition's heating up. On the old whips? Yeah, on the old whips. Oh, man's bobbing! Man's bobbing! Look at that! Basically, what's happened is Henry's promised all these children a carp fish off the surface. A carp fish? A carp fish. <laughs> Where's yeah. it going? Uh, two out of three. Two out of three. One left to go. We've got one. We've got to get him out of the weed. How do we get him out of the weed? We have one. Get the boat down. Oh, yeah. 
Camry. And have a break, Willis. Oh, go on in the net. Thank you, Martin. Well, we'd uh, just gone to the little lakes. We've seen a few fish in the shallows. Put some rods out, and on the way round, I decided to put a few citrus singles into the main lake in the middle of the bowl, where, uh, where I'd seen a few, and it didn't take long to rip off, just as Martin came around the corner with some jam donuts. Well Thanks done, for the mate. donuts. Thanks for letting us fish here. Ah, you're more than welcome, mate. Lovely to see. Catch in a few. Yeah, mega one. What do you reckon this would have gone in at? Oh, got maximum six pounds, seven pounds. Really? Yeah, if it's a C3, so it'll now be a C5, that would have put on, what, what you give me at the moment? What, what are they weighing at the moment? I reckon, well, maybe don't ask me, because I'll put it up to about 28, if you ask me. I reckon that's 22, 23. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd say, 22, So, 23. I mean, it's put on a fair amount of weight, 15 pounds, 16 pounds in a couple of years. Yeah, mega. And there's loads and loads and loads of these in here. So I should be catching more, really? Well, uh, you're beginning, it's good. Great to see the legend that is Martin Bowler come down and he was definitely a good luck charm because as soon as he walked through that gate, I got a bite and it was the biggest fish of the trip so far. So thank you, Martin, for coming down and for bringing the good luck. I've actually decided now to move over onto the smaller lake. And although this is the smaller, less popular lake, it's actually got the bigger fish in. So I'm putting all my eggs in one basket, so to say, and fishing quite hard on this lake for the final night. I'm really hoping I can catch one of the, uh, the old, big originals that live in here. So that's the plan for tonight. So whilst I get the rest of my stuff around and settle in for the night, why don't you check out the footage from our trade show at the back end of last year, where we showcase a complete range of brand new tackle items. That You've been practicing. Just do the one take one. I ain't doing that again, Barnsley. I feel like you're basically creating a fiction. I'll do it again. <laughs> favourite product this uh, year? My favourite product would be the LR Reels, mate, because I've used them actually in a lot of the drop episodes, and they are the boys, especially the 10,000 long spool. Looks absolutely spot on. It does help if you chuck it. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, Mikey, you need to check it out too, mate. Favourite Nash product of uh, this year? Scope clover. Yeah, I'm gonna join you on that one, mate. 100%, mate. It's decent, isn't it? Yeah, it looks sick. Mate. A little bit different. Yeah, some nice bits. Some new bits. 100%, mate. Favourite product? Yeah. Oh. The boats. Yeah? I'm a boat man. I like boat fishing. And there they are. And there they are. Everyone needs a boat in their lives. It makes fishing a hell of a lot easier. Got my eyes on the scope clothing, mate, to be fair. That little poncho thing. Yeah, everyone's, yeah, everyone's mine, eyeing that up. Is this the favourite of the show, is it? I think it's definitely mine, mate. I see myself... Uh... The other day, I was crying out for something like this. That's going to be a huge edge, mate, through the winter. It's washable, mate. It's got that fur inside of the winter. That's nice. Clothing is... Zero gravity chairs, you can't tip them at all. Look, keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tip them unless you do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's rolled out of it. Oh, I don't know, I'm near I had to get it locked here, I was like, take it. He's gone, mate, and he's gone. That's on, that's oh. evidence. He can send that to HR, <laughs> he mate. He did that to me and all, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Victimisation. Last morning here at Moor Lakes, and I don't know about you, Mikey, but really enjoy myself. Yeah, it's been nice. It has been good. Caught a few. Still chance for one more. The uh, the fish are moving around in the shallows where I've got three rods. They're definitely not in feeding mode. They're just enjoying a bit of that winter sun, but it does look like we've got a chance of catching one. One of them's got to go. I keep saying it to Mikey, but one of them has to go. So, got a few more hours left. Fingers crossed for one more carp. Just watching myself get mugged off on the other lake and the rod that I put out in the, in the big lake 
with a single citrus pop upon has gone again. When in doubt in the winter, stick a citrus out. Come here then, me old mucker. In the exact same fashion as yesterday, saw a show in the middle of the pond on the big lake, put a single citrus on it, and about 30 minutes later, the rod went. Quite typical, I've been waiting for a bite all day on the little lake, and the only rod in the big lake is the one that goes. Anyway, it's a fantastic way to end the session here at Moor Lakes. If you want to fish here yourself, make sure you get in touch with Martin over Instagram or email moorlakes at gmail.com. That's it for this session. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Life at Nash. Make sure you like, subscribe, and tune in every Monday at 7 p.m. for a brand new release on Nash TV.